Hello, I'm Ron Jones with Video Basics 123. Today we're going to talk about the power of video testimonies and how you can use that outreach tool to get your congregation to give more. And we're talking about their time and their treasure. Welcome to Crown Broadcasting's Video Training Update. You know, video testimonies can be a very powerful tool if you're trying to reach your audience. You know, when it comes to infomercials, well, a lot of those big businesses, they use video testimonies to sell their products. They get you to buy that product that's gonna help you to lose weight or get taller or whatever, right? Because they understand that video testimonies, which are basically a third-party endorsement, is going to get you to pull out that wallet and to spend some money. Well, video testimonies work the same when it comes to churches, when it comes to ministries. If you get someone to give their testimony on video, and then you can share that with the world, maybe through social media, whether it's Facebook or Twitter, you name it, then that evergreen testimony is going to influence the audience to do three different things. Number one, they may give more, give more money. Yeah, I said the M word, because that's important. That's how you keep the lights on, right? It can also encourage them to get involved more in the congregation or get involved more in the church, become more active. Also, it can reach those people who may not even be a part of your church and encourage them to join. So video testimonies can be an excellent way to reach your community. Our video team not too long ago, they visited a church that actually caters to the homeless community and their goal was to go out there to get testimonies so that the church that supports it will get more involved. Check it out. These guys are at ground zero and they need everything. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to whosoever, whosoever. The hurting homeless are finding answers at Safe Haven Ministries in Sacramento. Their spiritual needs are being met. The presence of the Lord is here, man. Because homeless people don't have nowhere else to go. And we get the word at the same time. But their physical needs, such as food and other essentials, are becoming scarce. Yes. Our homeless ministry, supported by Calvary Christian Center, is in desperate need of the basics, such as eating utensils, paper plates, and coffee cups. So we have to replenish those things. So we, we're on a really tight budget, and we don't have a lot of finance. So I'm looking for partners that can help us uh, provide these things, build the kingdom of God, and meet the needs of the people here at the church. And we also need volunteers to help serve our friends. That's part of our job is to serve them. I think it's a very good um, program they have here. They look out for after a lot of people. It's those basic needs that bring the homeless to safe haven so that we can share the gospel. We had over 12 people to give their life to Christ today, and I'm excited about that. And the people are getting excited about it. They need your financial help to keep the lights on so we can continue reaching an underserved population. Anything else? Your financial gifts or time as a volunteer is appreciated. Wasn't that an outstanding story? Safe Haven Ministries is actually making an impact in the capital city in California. But it's the video testimonies that are evergreen. In other words, I can use that a week from now, a month from now, or maybe a year from now to show the community and show the congregation where their money is going, the impact that they're making within their community as well. So when you're thinking about fundraising, when you're thinking about trying to get your congregation more involved in your ministry, always consider video testimonies that you can play on the big screens, maybe at your church within your sanctuary, or you can use it as an outreach tool through social media, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, you name it. Thanks for joining us on another video training session.